Well, hello. Welcome. I'm Bio. And today, I'm doing a stream. In this particular stream, I'm going to be playing the Wonderswan games that I recently sold on eBay. Yep, obviously I'm going to be playing them through emulation, and I'm going to be talking about my collection to, to, to some degree that I had, and I'm going to be honest with you, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of growing out of collecting things. I don't really collect things anymore, so I'm actually at the moment trying to sell a load of stuff. Not because I need the money, just because I've decided that's not the, 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 the way of life that I want. I don't want to be collecting loads of different things. Collecting whether it be video games, anime, manga, or various other things. So, I've decided I'm obviously not going to. Um, I'm not going to collect things anymore. Of that, of that. I said, I'm just looking, it says, Uncoding Overloaded, considered, what do you mean consider turning my video settings down? I mean, it's literally a still image and music. Um, so yeah, so I'm considering just getting rid of most of my stuff at the end of the day, keeping a few things here and there. Uh, you know, I've got a hacked PlayStation 2, for example, so I've got plenty of games on there. You know, I've got my PC at the end of the day. So, yes, it's just, it's, it is what it is. As you get older, you, you realize that you, certain things, they don't hold the same value to you anymore. But I've never got the chance to play through the entirety of my Wonderswan collection. I mean, I'm not going to play through it in terms of playing, beating the games, but playing each of the games. I had quite a lot of Wonderswan games, so I just played only certain ones. I just didn't play all of them. So. I'll show you my collection, that's the first thing first off. So this is the collection that I had. I took a picture before I sold it all on uh, on eBay and that. I had two Wonder Swans. I had a, uh, one, I had a, a Digimon Wonder, original Wonder Swan, the, you know, the see-through one that kind of looks like a Digivice. And I had a Swan Crystal. So those are the two, one, two Wonder Swans I had. Wonder Swan, Wonder Swan, however you want to pronounce it. And as you can see, I had not only boxed games, I had loose games as well. For some reason, I had two copies of Chaos Gear. That's the first thing that I would always point out to anyone, is you'll see not only that there is a cartridge of Chaos Gear on there. At least I think you can see it. Yeah, you can see it. Um, I've also got a boxed copy. I don't know how I happened to come across two. I think I remember buying these in job lots, if I remember, or something like that. But I did buy individual games as well. So here you can see all of the games I have. I have... What is that? One, what is that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen original Wonder Swan games. Then you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, um, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. I think that's fourteen Wonder Swan color games. And then it looks to be four. Swan Crystal games, because uh, three of them are boxed and one of them isn't. So, I think, I again, don't quote me on that. I'm just going off of the, looking at the image myself. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to be trying to play every single one in this stream. Every single one. I'm just going to play, you know, a little bit of each one, like couple, a couple of minutes of each one. Uh, you know, if I enjoy one, uh, I might play a bit more. Uh, I'll straight say straight off the bat, the ones I played the most of were the One Piece uh, Grand Battle Swan Coliseum on the Swan Crystal. Uh, I played a fair amount of Wonder Classic Golf. Um, I played a fair amount of the Digimon Battle Spirit. I played a fair amount of the Densha to Go, surprisingly, the first one, not the second one. A uh, bit of the uh, wrestling, I can't remember which wrestling one I played, but it was one of them. And I played a fair amount of Side Pocket, which is like a snookerish game. So yeah, I, there, was, there was a point in time where I was literally actively playing my Wonder Swan. Just, it, it lasted for all of, I don't know, uh, six months, and then it just got shelved. It got forgotten about, as you can say, until I uh, did a massive sort out and wanted to sell some stuff. So, yeah. Got oh, another music track as well. Um, so yeah, so I'm gonna be going through all of my Wonder Swan games, hopefully playing every single one of them in this stream. And yeah, I'm not gonna split this stream up because there's so many games. I'm not gonna be splitting this stream up into separate videos later down the line. So the only only way of me of seeing me play the Wonder Swan games 
will be this stream. That's it. There will be no, I won't be splitting it up like I do with the other streams. So yeah. All right. In all fairness, we can uh, we can stop the music right now. Stop the music and get on with the first first game. Uh, so get rid of that. Get up the where is it? Where are you? There you are. Get this up. The very first game we're going to be looking at. If I bring it up here. Oh god, you're gonna. I don't know if this is too loud. Hopefully it won't be too loud. But the very first game we're gonna be looking at is Chaos Gear, Michibi Karashi Mono. I'm only I'm doing it in an alphabetical order, starting with the original Wonder Swan, then Wonder Swan Color, and then Swan Crystal. It's developed by Layup, never heard of the company, published by Bandai, pretty much most of the games on the Wonder Swan were published by Dan Bandai. And it was released in June 10th, 1999. It says it's a strategy game, so. I don't know how true of that of it being a strategy game, but I'm guessing that's the story. It's giving you the story there. I'm not too sure, but there we go. Is it, oh, as it phases in, Chaos Gear. All right, so the A button, at least on my controller, is back. So it'll be the B button. So, okay, we got to pick a name. Fantastic. I'm going to go with Mr. 666, the demon child. Oh, yes. Back in the day, there was these crystals. And they were some pretty shifty crystals. And we had to get the crystals and take them back. Again, it's only going to be in Japanese. We are going to be... There's going to be some RPGs here and there. <laughs> and obviously, I'm only going to put a little bit of time into each of them. So, you know, it's just, it is what it is. It's one of those things. So... I would say, can we skip this? It doesn't look like we can. I think, that, okay, so there's some, like rocks there. There was a flash. Now the rocks are destroyed. Oh, there's a bonfire. Oh no, there's a dude there. What's going on? Who knows? Oh, and there's a girl. Girl's talking to us at the bonfire. Don't know what it is. Again, I, I no clue what it's about. It could be about anything. It could be about chicken. They could be talking about chicken. It's very likely they are talking about chicken. I would. Because I can't find like, hmm. What do you like? Rotisserie? I, mean, I like spit roast myself. Oh. Oh, no, no, no. She didn't like the fact that I like to spit roast. And now she's now she's saying that there's chicken demons. Of course, I should have known that there was chicken demons. The chicken demons are the most evil of the of them all. And even more chicken demons. <laughs> oh yes. I should have known that the chicken demons would have known. Oh my. This is a... Uh, again, I'm not surprised considering it's like an RPG kind of light game. <laughs> Artwork seems to be fairly nice. Considering it's on the Wonderswan. It's interesting, the Wonder Swan, because if I remember correctly, like, in terms of power, the Wonder Swan is stronger than the Game Boy. And even the Swan Crystal is stronger than a Game Boy Advance, I think. So, but it just didn't catch on. It never left Japan. Didn't catch on. Bandai tried for a number of years to kind of push the Wonder Swan, because I think, I think it went for, it went on for like four or five years, the Wonder Swan, and I was like, yeah, no. Yeah, no, it's not selling. It's not selling. Oh, here we go. Act one. Oh, hit. Okay, so now we've got like a town. All right. And this is the first location. Oh. oh I'm, 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 yes. Oh. What is this? I guess it is a strategy game. What is this? Advance Wars? Yes. I don't know what I just did there. Okay. Is this like the troops I have? I, I, I don't know what I'm doing.
Okay. I love it. I love I love how I don't know what the hell I'm doing. I've just spent all of my monies, I think. What's this? I don't know. We only have the one castle though, this thing. I have no <laughs> no clue. What the hell's even going on? See, I have bought this game. I, again, I, I bought a lot of these games at job lot. Not knowing what the hell. What is this? Just looking at something. But there's like a hidden castle over here. There's ruined castles around here. Whoa. What happened there? Whoa. Was that, is that my turnover? Is it the enemy's turn? It is. It's basically like an Advance Wars style game. The enemy... I don't know what the enemy was doing, but the enemy's down here like blocked by rocks. So I don't see how the enemy's going to be able to do much of anything. I, I have no clue. I just don't know. I just don't know. I have 11G now. What can we use the 11G for? What does half of these things are? Uh, we've spent the monies. We've spent the monies. Um, no clue. I'm, I am. I am. Con, con, I have no clue what I'm supposed to be. Oh, now we have mages. Fantastic. Ah, yes. I know that I've just ended my turn. I know for a fact that I've just ended my turn. Alright, end. End my turn. And it'll be the enemy's turn. What's the enemy gonna do? Oh. Is that the enemy force? Did they just send out a force? Yeah, that's the enemy force, I think. Oh, can I send out, like... Can I send... Oh, is this, like, the force he's sending towards me? Is this what this is? I'm gonna be honest with you, I have no clue how to play this game whatsoever. Not a clue. Alright, I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm gonna move on to the next game, because I, I have no clue. I'm just mashing buttons here and there trying to figure out, and there's nothing. Just absolutely nothing, so... I'm going to I'm going to I'm going to take the L and I'm going to move on to the next game which is Densha to go. Densha to go. Let's see if I even bring it up. Nope, that Densha to go. Yeah, but want the original from the Wonder Swain. And then we're probably going to be looking at the other one afterwards. Fantastic. I'm just bringing them up. I haven't got all of them open. I have to open up individually. All right. Taito. Densha to go! So I've played some Densha to go games in the past for the Simple 1500 series. Who would have thought we're playing Densha to go on the Wonder Swan? But here we are. I did play a little bit of this on the Wonder Swan. So it's developed by and developed and published by the Taito Corporation. It was released March 4th, 1999. We are actually going to be playing both of the Densha to Go games. So yeah. Let's jump into the game. Oh my word, what are we gonna pick? Oh, we've got four four lines that we can choose, I guess. Let's pick the first one. Oh, there it is. What a beautiful train. Oh, there we go. All right, we're going to our first stop. And then it is. This is what it looks like. I'm trying to remember how. Well, 
I've got to try and remember how it works. Oh, oh, that just flips it on its side. <laughs> yeah, allow me to figure out the controls. I'd li I liked for you to let me figure out the controls. I don't know what... And literally mashing buttons on the controller and nothing. Nothing. You can't. You can't. You can't just have the game not do nothing from mashing buttons on the controller. That's just... Uh, it's just... Unacceptable. So, left on the D-pad... The other D-pad things don't do anything. Like, left on the D-pad does the horn, and that's it. Pressing the A button brings the... That's the power meter, by the way, down. And if I press the B button, it goes back up. Right? Wait, wait. Aha! There we go. Now we're, now we're moving, boys. Now we're moving. Oh my god, look, we're actually moving. Oh my word. How could you even say it's acceptable to release a game like this on the Wonder Swim? Look at it. Going super fast here. Just using the emergency brake. And now we stopped. Fantastic. Let's, let's, let's get back up to speed again. It's difficult. It's not easy. We're, we're going to run out of time. We're going to run out of time. We're not going to reach the stop, I don't think. At least I figured out how to play it. Oh, hello, Acidonia. Welcome to stream. Black and white. Reference grab yes, this this is apparently acceptable in the Wonder Swan, apparently. Oh, and we fail. There we go. You did not succeed. Alright, we're gonna try again. Yeah, let's get let's get the ball rolling. Go. Go. But this is this is just how it was by then. I'd be curious to see how Densha to go two does on the Wonder Swan, if I'm honest with you. But I, but it, honestly, it is, doesn't look great, does it? We're going to reach there, though. Look, we're going super fast now. We're reaching, here we go. Here comes the tunnel. Here we go. Oh, through the tunnel at super speed. Woo. And we're going. We're going really fast. 70 kilometer, kilometers an hour. We're, we, woo, we're really picking up speed now. We're going to go smashing, smashing into it. Oh. There's a red light coming up, is there? Oh, I'm just going to pass it. I don't care. We're going to reach my stop. We're almost there. 300. We're almost at 100 kilometers an hour. We're going back in time, boys. We're going back in time. Oh. Nope. Oh. Nope. Oh, I've. I've we, we've gone past the station. I was pressing everything on the controller. They have to make the 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 way the game works terrible, don't they? You fail. You get zero points. That's the only thing I will ever say about the Denture to Go games. That the, the control scheme is really weird. It's really strange. I'm trying. I know they're trying to make it a little bit more um, realistic, but it's still weird. Right, I think that's enough for Denture to go. We'll move on to the other Denture to go game. Just to get it out of the way. So, just to give you a little bit of information. Uh, Denture to go 2, for some reason, is not published by Taito. It's developed by Taito, obviously, but it's not published by Taito this time around. It's published by Cyberfront. 
and it came out on October 7th, 1999. So, there you go. Pretty, more sure, that's, pretty sure that's the same year as the, as the previous game, but whatever. God. Alright, let's jump into it. I don't know how different it is. Okay. Same music. I'm guessing... Oh, that's how difficult they are. Okay, we'll go with this one, because level one, easy, right? Cool. Alright. Presentation-wise, it looks very similar. Oh my god, it looks identical. What difference could you honestly say? It's gonna play the same, isn't it? Uh, so... We've got to lower our E down and raise the speed up. There you go. That's, that's, the, that's the braking system, by the way, the E. On the right-hand side. The, right, the bar on the right-hand side is the braking system. Alright, right, we can raise the speed up a little bit. It's max speed's 35 mile kilometers an hour. Got quite a while to reach our uh, thing. Oh god, so many loud noises. Loud noises! As we just zip zone. Okay, I think I think it's not. Yeah, the, the, the warning thing's gone now, so we can go above thirty kilometers now. Oh yes, this is definitely residential. This is residential area, looking very nice here in the old Japan. <laughs> Dear me! Oh, here we got. Shut up! Shut up, game! All right, we'll just cruise along at this speed, sixty kilometers. It's pretty decent. We're getting there. But it's all about timing. This this 100% is less is less about driving trains. The this game series and more about getting your timings perfect. Seriously, I'm not joking. It is honestly about getting your timings perfect. All right, we're supposed to reach there by 40. I can see the timer. We're not going to reach there by 40. I have to speed up because we're right. We we're very far away. All things considered. Yeah, we're not going to reach it. We're not going to reach it. I wasn't going fast enough. We're just, we're just, we're just drifting to the station now. Bring on the emergency brake. Emergency brake. Brake. And we failed. <laughs> what a surprise we fail again. What a surprise. I, yeah, I'm not going to do that again. You can you can do one. You can do one, Denture to Go 2. I'd rather play the, the Denture to Go games on uh, the PlayStation 1. I want to play the Denture to Go game that's on the PS4. There's a PS4 Denture to Go game. I'm curious to see how that is, but it only got released in Japan, so there's no chance of that. All right. Uh, doo -doo. So we're going to move on to our next game, which is Digimon Adventure Anode Tamer. Go. Oh, that's a flashy title screen. Let me just bring up some information about it. Digimon Tamer Anode Cathode Tamer. So I had the Anode Tamer, but it had two versions of this game, basically. It's developed by Sims, published by Bandai, and it came out on December 16th, 1999. And there's 170 Digimon, apparently. There's 170 Digimon. Uh, and it's like the it's it's almost the like I'm pretty sure it's like it's yeah it's 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 one of the very early Digimon games, very early Digimon games. So so yeah, um, let's uh, let's have a look at Digimon Tamer, Anode Tamer. I don't know what it's going to be like. Probably going to be confusing again. I want to be the man who... No, 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 no. I want to be the man who's just simply known as Dots. Let me be Dots. Why won't you let me be Dots? I'll be Space then. There we go. I'll just be Spaces. You can't stop me from being Mr. Space. He will not let me. Ah, there we go. We'll just be that bloke. Yes. The no, 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 no. That's not the no guy, is it? It's, a, just, a, it's just a... It's a square. 
Okay, so we're in like a, a, oh, a residential area. Fantastic. We've just been, we just finished driving our train and crashing it. Come back to the, uh, we all come back home. We see our sons playing with this stupid Digimon again. Obviously, I like Digimon. But obviously from an adult perspective, it's like, yeah, my son's playing with his stupid Digimon again. Oh no, is that Agumon? Agumon's coming to life. Oh! Agumon's coming to life. Oh look, I love how disappointed the kid looks in that in there. Look how disappointed he looks, bottom left. God. He's just disappointed to even become a Digimon tamer. I'm not a I don't wanna be a Digi Destin, Dad! I don't wanna be a Digi Destin. Oh, what's happened? We, have we been sucked into the digital world? Yes, we have. Fantastic. There's Agumon. It doesn't look too bad in all comparison. It actually doesn't look that bad. I imagine it's probably going to be some kind of RPG, probably. Right? It's got to be going to be some RPG. Oh, and straight away we fall, we fall through a hole in the earth. Fantastic. Beautiful. We die from that? Do we die? No, it's just Agumon's like, we gotta live. We gotta live, Tristan. Oh god, it's uh, Kab... Kab... Kabuterimon? Is that... No, it's not Kabuterimon. Quagumon? Is that Quagumon? I forget. I don't remember all of the Digimon's names. I'm not like... Uh, I'm, not, I'm, I'm not with Digimon like I am with Pokemon. Oh, here we are. Oh, okay. It's like this, is it? Interesting. Okay, so this is how the game works. Oh. Oh god. This battle is being played for me, by the way. Oh, here we go. We managed to he, he managed to hit him that time. Oh, and we're battling again. Here we go. Agamon's on the attack this time. Boom! Get attacked, Quagaterra, uh, Quagamon, whatever your name is. Oh, and we're fighting again. Oh, God! He's getting absolutely slaughtered here. Now he's attacking us. Fantastic. Bloody mohawk looking ass. Oh god. Oh, is it cool? I managed to dodge that one. Fantastic. I've got, I've got no control over this. So I don't know if it's supposed to play like this. Is it supposed to be where it's just automatic or is it... Just this particular battle was automatic. Oh, that one's dead. Fantastic. That's got to be the stronger one of the two. Pretty sure, because Koagumon, if I think it's Koagumon, it's a champion level Digimon, whereas the one we're fighting now... Oh, no, he's still there. Oh, he's definitely gone. Oh, now we... The other one was Rookie, so... I don't know greatly. Boom. That is zero damage. Oh, no, he's... he's... He's on the floor, I think he's gone. Yeah, we've managed to beat him. Well done, Agumon. I didn't have any input in that, but well done. Oh, word. Now we're here. Wherever here is. Oh, there's a G, the, the old man bloke. I can't remember his name. The old man bloke. Fantastic. Oh, this evil Digimon. There's Etamon, there's Debimon, there's Mirstok, Mir, Mr. Mirstokmon, whatever the hell that thing is behind it. Don't again, I don't remember all their names. Oh, that's this is the seat. I've got to be honest with you, it doesn't look too bad. The whole like black and white stills that they're using, they don't look that bad. Let's right, skip through the dialogue. We don't know what's happening anyway. Oh, oh we finally got control. Oh, come on, just stop parking. Oh, there's... He's still talking. Oh, finally, we're, we're on the move. Okay. Alright, so now we're on the move. We can talk to Digimon in the... This is, this is our hub. I guess. I know that one's Botamon, if I remember correctly. Okay. There's nothing here. 
So are we supposed to, like, talk to these Digimon? What's, what's the dealio? Oh, there is... the flame thing. Oh. Oh, this is notes written li on leaves for some reason? Okay. I'm not gonna question it. Just whatever, you know what I mean? It's just whatever. Oh, here we go. Are we go is this, like, a dungeon? Okay, yeah, let's go in there. Let's go in the dungeon. I'll take Agumon with us. Oh, there's Bodemon. Okay, so now we get to... So we, we pick Agumon, and we want him to move to here. Okay. I see how it is. Now we attack. Boom. He's gonna attack back. Oh no! Oh, so that's health, that's what it is. I see, so there we go. We now got 138 health. He's got six health left. I see how it is. There we go, so we're gonna attack. Boom, and he's dead. We are winner. And we're just straight into the next battle. Okay. Two health left. Bloody hell, I could, couldn't have taken it down. But this is basically what the game's like then, I guess. You go around and battle like this. That's fine. It's perfectly fine. That's not too bad of a game, to be honest. Now another Botamon is attacking us. Ah! If I'm honest with you, it's not bad. It's not a bad. It's too bad that they didn't also release this on like the Game Boy or something. And then it got localized. I think people would have liked this. And we beat it. We got through the, the dungeon, I guess. Whatever it was. And there's more text. Okay. I think I've seen enough of this. So basically, it's like an, an RPG with a, a turn-based battle system where you work on a grid. It's fair enough. It's perfectly fine. Fine little game. It's the only one so far that I can actually probably play. Still, I'd imagine you'd get stuck because you wouldn't know what the hell you're doing later down the line. But it's okay. It's okay. We'll move on to the next one which is Doko Demo Hamster. Doko Demo Hamster. All right, I'm just going to look it up. Doko Demo Hamster. There it is. Doko Demo Hamster. Uh, developed and published by Beck, released in January 6th, 2000. Okay. Okay, it says it's a strategy game, which I, I'm like, uh, not another strategy game. If I remember correctly, this this hamster thing was a popular thing back in like the early 2000s, late 90s, I think. So. And there we go, Beck. Becca also, funny enough, we go from Digimon, right, to this game, because Beck is also the developers of Digimon World 3, so. Coincidence? I don't think so. <laughs> oh, and there he is. There's the fat little rotund boy. Oh, we got we get to name him. Fantastic. Do we get English characters? Oh yes! His name will be Billy. Billy the hamster. Excellent name for a hamster. Billy. 
Huh? What's what? Yeah, I gave it Billy. I gave him the name Billy. I don't need to... Fine. You know what? You want me to give you a name? I give you the name! This is your name! <laughs> I think that was his like. Right, there he is. Oh, oh, and he's doing a little drawing. What, what are you doing? Oh. Okay, so... It's not a... Oh, okay, I see. It's not a strategy game. It's a simulation life game. You watch your little hamster go around doing stupid things. There you go, he's drawing again. Boom, and it's gone. And we can talk to him. Let's call this this let's, let's say this. No. He don't like that. Would he like seeds? Oh yes. I will eat my seed. Yum 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 yum. I'm a fat little boy. I'm gonna just poke him. Let's give him a little poke like this. Oh he likes a little poke, does he? Oh look. He likes it when you poke him. Stupid ass hamster. We're not gonna feed him again. Uh Let's ask him this question. Oh, wait. I don't care, whatever. <laughs> Just told me fuck. Yes. Send the fuck to Billy. <laughs> I don't know what's happening. I'm gonna be honest with you, I, I think I'm already gonna move on to the next game. I, I kinda get what this is. It's a simulation Tomodachi kinda style game, right? That's gotta be what it is, right? That's fine. That's fine. It's a fine little game. It's fine. No, we're not loading core. Uh, that's a fine little game. Right, fine. Right, next we'll move on to Fire Pro Wrestling for Wonderswam, which I believe is the wrestling game I did play a little bit of. So, Fire Pro, let's have a look. Fire Pro. Wrestling. And do, 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 do. I've got Scan Along. There's quite a few games. Where's this? Where's the? Where, there it is. Wonder Swain. So this one, Fire Pro Wrestling from Wonder Swain, is developed by Shimada K K Kikaku. What one? One dude? Is that it? And it says it's published by Kagatech, but I'm looking at Human Entertainment there. Okay. And it got released on August 31st, 2000. I don't know. I reckon they've got the wrong information, but... Because Human human, ent uh, human Entertainment is a developer. So I think they've probably got the wrong information there, so... I don't know, it's just a Kagatech on there. But I think Human Entertainment is the developer, not bloody whoever they said it was. All right. What do we have? Master of the Ring, One Night Match, One Night Tournament, Open League, Elimination Match, and Edit. Okay, Network. Alright, well, let's do One Night Match. Yeah, that sounds... Yeah, we'll go with that. Who are we playing as? Uh... I don't know. Oh, we got one dude in a mask. Let's do this dude. And we'll go up against, I don't know, him. Beautiful, here we go. Fantastic. Oh, yeah. Get him. Oh, he's throwing me. Get off of me, boy. Get off. Oh, and I fell out the ring. Oh, he threw me back in the ring. What's happening? I don't even know how he's doing the grabs, to be honest. I have no clue how he's doing the grabs, by the way. I have no clue how he's doing half the stuff he's doing to me, by the way. There's literally like two buttons on the controller. How are you doing this? I will admit, it's like, 
it's impressive. The game is impressive, and it seems to like the wrestling moves seem like they work and everything. Yeah. Seriously, I oh somehow I got him in a headlock there. You got me there. Well, uh, uh, we're both out. Okay. I have no clue. This is not the one I played, by the way. No. It must be the other wrestling game I played. My dude's, like, literally done. See, I don't even know how he's doing half the stuff he's doing. He's grabbing me. I can't seem to grab him, no matter every button I press on the controller doesn't seem to... Even though I seem to... I think I grabbed him once, but I have no clue how I did that. Not a clue. Get off me. Why are you like this? He is just beating the absolute living crap out of me. I have just no clue what the hell's going on. Especially when I, all I can seem to do... Yeah, just pin me and, and, and just call it. Just call it. Yeah, I, I, I think I will, go, I will move on. Yeah, I don't think so. Not my, not my thing. Not my thing. I have no clue. Mainly because it's just no clue what I'm doing. No clue whatsoever. <clears throat> All right, on to fishing freaks. Bass rise. So, fishing freaks. Bass rise for Wonderswan. There we are. Developed by Media Entertainment. Published by Beck, and released in February twenty fourth, two thousand. There we go. See how we, uh... Oh, it's that way around, is it? There we go. We'll have to play it like this, then. I'm not changing... I'm not changing the resolution. Screw that. I'm not, I'm not gonna go around messing around with that. I forget there is some of the games like this. There we go. That's who we are. Alright. We're gonna use that. The bait, let's go, yep. Can we just go fishing, please? Do we have to keep doing this? I just want to go fishing. Just want to go fishing. Leave me alone. Stop bullying me, game. You're bullying me. I feel like I'm being bullied by the game here. Do I have to fill all of these out? No, I don't. All right, I'm going to restart the game. I don't know where the game's taken me. I have no clue. I've played this before. I have no clue where the game's taken me. The, the, the game's being retarded. I don't know. I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say, to be honest. Maybe, okay, not the first option, second option. No. Fuck off! This, there is literally an option on here that just takes you into the fishing. What the fuck game? Why are you being cancerous? Fish, let me fish. I think it's just been so long, I just don't remember. I think that's what it is, I just don't remember how it works. Well done. 
Oh my god, how oh my god, who designed this game? That's ranking, right, right, right. This one. Oh my god, are we are we I think we're doing it. Okay, we're doing it. All right, thank God. I'm going to go for that. All right. There it is. And this is the game. Exciting, isn't it? Fairly exciting game where you just go. I Ben, I I I played a little bit of this, not loads. It's a fish here. Come on, fish, fishy, fishy, fish. Come on, come on. I, I I just don't I don't care. I don't care. We're moving on to the next game. I just don't care. I just don't care. I don't care. I don't care. I just don't care, right? I don't care. Goddamn stupid fishing game. Don't want to play ball. Just wants to be a dick. It's fine. So instead, now we'll move on to from TV animation One Piece, Mezai Kaizoku. Developed by Soft Machine, published by Bandai, and released in July 19th, 2000. Hopefully we can play this one. <laughs> Deary me. Oh, there he is, there's Gold Roger. Alright. Uh, did we get to pick who we play as? Oh, okay. I picked Zoro then. Oh. Who is this? What am I? What the hell am I even playing? I swear this is not the actual game. I'm playing like a mini game here. It's a card game. Yeah, I, I can see it's a card game. I just... I just don't... I've seen footage of this game, and it, this, this is not what I think the game is. Have I, like, have I stumbled upon a mini... like, the side game of this? I don't know. What is happening? This is going well, isn't it? It's going really well. I've just restarted the game. <sighs> it's never easy, is it, with these old Japanese games? It's never easy. Doesn't want to play ball. Find Luffy. Don't care. I don't. Just yes. We're done. Ah, this is what this is what I remember the game looking like. Okay. Shanks is giving Luffy the hat. He's like, yes, you will be king of the pilots. Alright, so I think we're supposed to reach that island. Need to do anything. Just move down. Alright. Move. What is move? What button does move? Oh my god. 
It doesn't make it easy, does it? Is that an enemy? Oh, it is. Oh no. We're now fighting an enemy. Fantastic. All right, we're actually in the game now, at least. The card game thing must be like a side thing then. I don't know. I'm going to play. I, don't know. I have no clue what that one. No clue what I'm doing. Oh, now we're fighting on its side. Oh, I love how it's like not even the right way around. It's upside down. Fantastic. So they didn't want to be conventional. Oh, no. Oh, God. Oh, I hate this. I hate this with a passion. What a horrible game. <laughs> what a horrible game. What a weird... I don't care. Stop spinning. Stop spinning the Wonderswan. Fucking hell. Stop spinning it. All right. Harrowbots. Oh my god. Deary me. I lose my fucking mind with this. Develop so this is Harrowbots. Developed and published by Sunrise Interactive. Released on October 7th, 1999. I don't lose my goddamn mind. Right. Oh god. I think this is a Gundam related game. I think. We'll be no 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 yeah, no 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 no. We're all, we're all no no no. Oh god. What is happening? What, what, what are we in arcade? What is this? Grand. Grandiose. Fantastic. Oh, God. Who is this? With a, why has he got a heart on his head? I, I don't know. Don't know. And we leave. Fantastic. Oh, now we've got control. Fantastic! This I love a game that just straight in there. Grand. Now we're in... What is this place? Alright. I want to see the battle system. Whatever the... Uh, I don't know. System this game has. And now what is this? A dojo? It looks like it. So, at the moment I can just go around and talk to people. Oh, who's this? Oh, he said, no, you can't go that way. That is illegal. Can't go in there. Okay. I'm supposed to talk to you? No, I've all talked to you, I think. We go, oh. Nope, can't go that way. Back in, uh, back inside we go, then. Can I fight you? What's that? You want to play the game? I don't think so. You gotta go do something really specific that only if you understand Japanese you can do. Because fuck it to you.
Let me out, old man. Alright, we're gonna have to skip this one, because I have no clue where I'm supposed to go, what I'm supposed to do. I've gone everywhere already. And I hate it in a game where I go everywhere and still, no, no, you, you've missed something. Okay. Well, then I don't play your game. Next, we're, we're keeping up with Gundam and moving on to Mobile Suit Gundam MSVS. Deary me. We're breezing through these. Which is developed by Sims, so so far the only decent Wonderswan game I've played is the Digimon Anno Tamer one, so that's good. It might actually be decent. Published by Bandai, released August twenty sixth, nineteen ninety nine. All right, looks like we got to spin this one. Okay, nice little intro. Okay, nice little intro, fair enough. All right. Are we picking what robot we want? I don't know. I'm gonna exit this. I think that is customizing, maybe. Maybe this one? Oh, yeah, okay, it's asking for our name, so that normally means something, right? We'll be, the, we'll be known as the Many Nose. Ah, yes, we can even have a character portrait. Let's go with, uh, Old Man. Angry Old Man. Oh. We, we've just done that. That was delete data, wasn't it? Why would you have that? Why would you have delete data as being the only option? Sure, that one. Exit. Okay, now we can go to computer and fight, right? Or whatever we're doing. Okay. This looks promising. There we go. Alright, that's our... Well, now we're... There's our gun down. We found a target. Oh, God. He just fired at us. Oh, does the battles just play themselves, or is it just showing... Is it doing the same thing that Anno Tamer did, and showing us how our battle generally goes? That's interesting. I guess. Definitely leaves a lot to the imagination, doesn't it? The old game. Backing us into a corner, any? Or what? I have no clue. I am doing something. I give a command. That's what I do. I change... Okay. You give a command. That's what you do. Now I'm losing loads of HP. I just... Why couldn't you just make it like a Gundam game which played like the Digimon game? Why did you have to make it some stupid bullshit like this? I don't know. And right, now we're going to move on to Naz... Nazo O Pocket. So probably another game that I will not be able to play. More than likely. It says it's an adventure game. Developed by Bandai Visual, published by Bandai, released November 18th, 1999. 
Probably be another game I ca I just cannot play more than likely. Yo. Nope. Okay. Skip the intro. Okay, there we go. There it is. There we go. There we go. Oh god. The dude literally floating. Yep. You are the chosen one. You must go and save the Nazo pocket from the Revenge of the Fallen. That's what you gotta do. And you also gotta get my false tape as well. You know, I fell out about five years ago and I don't know where they've gone. I think they just lost the time. Oh, here we are. Okay. Interesting. Mm. Who's this? What is this thing? What is this? Just, oh, oh, you can come in here. The door is locked. What's that? You want to come in? I don't think so. Ha ha ha. Who are you? I'm number six. Can't you see? My forehead. It says six. It has the number six on it. Don't you see? If I let you in here, you'll have to ascend the grand staircase. And I'm going to be honest, you're just a small little child. You can't ascend the grand staircase. Because you know why? Because you're a little small child. You're pathetic. You're weak. Well, that's not very nice. Oh, dear. All right, I, he, I think he's telling us, like, this is what you got to do. I don't know what I've done here. Uh... Oh my, what am I answering? Like, quit? Is this a quiz game? And I'm dead. You failed to answer my questions, boy. Now you must leave. Fantastic. So... I, I, I just had to answer his questions and he wouldn't let me in. Oh. Right, I couldn't couldn't do anything there. Fantastic. What is this? Another door. Oh, great! Another another head. Is this what this game is? Just like answer questions. Okay, I'm gonna move on. It's gonna be just answer questions. It's a bloody puzzle game. Is this a bloody quiz game in disguise? Right, we're now gonna move on to SD Gundam Emotional Jam. So, let me type it in. SD Gundam MO. Emotional Jam. I had to type the whole word emotional in for it to come up. Which is developed by Tom Create, published by Bandai, and released May 27th, 1999. So, here we go. Emotional Jam. Can I, can I just go into a battle? Yes, please, yes, yes, to the battle. Yes. Or something. Excellent. Oh, here we are. Okay, what the hell is this? Where's the enemy? Over here? Oh, yeah, the enemy's over there. Okay, so it's like a stra it's a strategy game, similar to... Right, 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 so... Move this one. This is exciting, isn't it? Wait for the enemy to move everything. Sure. 
Sure is exciting stuff, eh? Now the enemy goes. Whoa. Why can't the cursor move that fast for me? Alright, we can actually attack now. Now we're fighting. Okay, here we go. There's four ships here. But you can move it faster, by the way. Okay, I see how this game works. I, I, I've seen enough. I'm going to move on to the next one. All right. it, it's, not, it's not a particularly good... It's not particularly good, in my opinion. Nope. Right, we're now going to move on to Shin, Shin Nihon Pro Wrestling Tokudon Retsudan, which is, I think, the wrestling game I played. Shin Nihon Pro. So, Shin Nihon... Oh, God, where are we looking at? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Shin Nihon Pro. Of course, it's not going to come up with anything. Ugh. Platform Wonderswain. There we go. That's oh, because it calls this on here. It's called Shin Nippon Pro Wrestling Tokon Red Sudan. Published and developed by Tommy Corporation. Released March 4th, 1999. All right. See if this wrestling game is any better. I remember playing a wrestling game on the Wonderswan. Maybe my memory's wrong. I don't know. But I remember it being okay. Not great, but okay. All right, skip the intro. Oh god, we have like six playable characters. Oh, give me the sunglasses, dude. There we go. I think we're jumping straight into a battle. Here we go. Here we are. Ah! Ah, he's got me. I think this is the game, but I have no clue what the hell I'm doing once again. I love how they just don't give you a fucking break. Just don't even give me a chance to learn how to play the game. Just, they don't even give you a chance for anything. I just want to stay on the ground. Can I just stay here? Is that possible? I don't want to move here. What dictates whether I do a big kick or a... Basically, just mash the D-pad and one of the buttons, and there you go. That's what I'm doing now, by the way. Mash. Just mash! Just mash to your heart's content! Then you'll love everything! Mash! Mash! 
I'm mashing now. I'm just desperate. It seems to be working. Now my dude's literally doing the Macarena. Right. I've already had enough of this. <laughs> I've already had enough. I, clearly it wasn't on the one swan, the game I'm thinking of. Clearly not. Ah, Side Pocket. Yes. Beautiful. I do remember Side Pocket. The game I played the most on the Wonder Swan. Side Pocket. So. Side Pocket. There we go. Side Pocket for. Funny enough, Side Pocket for Wonder Swan was the last Side Pocket game. Wow. Side Pocket, th Side Pocket 3 on the PlayStation. Hmm. I'll have to give that a look at some point. But it's developed and published by Data East, and it came out on November 25th, 1999. So. Oh, God. All right. Riho, Misa, Tony, Hole. against Misa then, I guess. I think he's going first. She, even? She's going first. It's fine. Okay. My turn. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh. Almost went in that one. And that she's going to go for that one now. But fail miserably. Okay. Whatever. I've got the angle quite right. It has, it has been a hell of a while since I played this. But did she get a free turn? Why did she get a free turn? No one's potted a ball yet. You can't tell what ball is what. Don't give me that shit. There's no way of telling what ball's what. Let me guess, I didn't hit the right ball? Yeah, I didn't hit the right ball. How the fuck can you have a Wonder Swang game that doesn't even show the numbers of the balls? I don't know. That's some, that's some cancer. I'm guessing it's this one, the one the ball's aimed at. I played a lot of this one, though. How do I get on with this? This was a good number of years ago, by the way. Like, quite a few years ago. Almost got that in. Almost. Yeah, he's gonna get it in now. Yeah, show me where the... The ball two is, because clearly you know I, I don't. Yeah, I, I still hit it. Fair enough. I have no clue what the hell is happening. She didn't even aim for the right ball, I don't think. Don't give me the ball. I don't even know which one is the two ball. Is it that one? Okay. Fantastic. Okay. 
I think we've seen enough of Side Pocket. I, I remember this game being better. Maybe I had more tolerance back then. I don't know. So we'll now move on to Super Robot Tizen Compact. All right, so Super Robot Tizen Compact. Which was developed by Toze, published by Ban Presto, released April 28th, 1999. I guess there's a difference between Bandai and Ban Presto, right? I think there was one of their, their like, subdivisions or something. Okay. Ah, yes. The year is 2000 XX. Who knows what the real year is? Skip past all the text that we just can't read. Play the music. Blah, 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 blah. Skip, skip, skip. Alright, here we go. Straight into the battle. Perfect. I think. So we see what the game's like. It's another strategy style game. Fantastic. Oh, brilliant. This is how this works, but you won't be able to understand this. Oh, that can move. Oh, I didn't realize they were part of my squad. Oh, is that the enemies up there? All right. How do we end turn? I'm trying to figure out how to end turn here. Pressing all the buttons on the controller is just not how. Oh, is that it? No. Can I please end my turn? Is that possible? There we go. Nope. And turn! Why do you have to be so difficult? Okay, there we go. Then we ended our turn. Right, right. There we go. So he attacked us. So, okay, the battle system's like this, right? Retaliate. Right, okay. And we're attacking. Get attacked! How about that? Oh, he's gonna fire us back. No, he's gonna rush us. And we dodged. fire as well. Of 
455 damage. I already managed to hit us this time. Alright, get a tactic I also have on this one as well. This is fine. This is a fine little game. I got no issue with this one. Is that white base? Looks like white base. back a bit stronger than what it's expecting. <laughs> yep. But we're all going to get destroyed as well, boy. Fair enough. Bang. Oh, he's firing us from afar. And we dodged. Interesting. Now we attack back. We get wrecked. Okay. I think I'm going to stop playing it. I can see what the game's like. It's fine. It's all right. All right, little uh, strategy kind of game. All right, we've got one more game to look at for the original Wonderswan before we move on to the Wonderswan color, and that is Wonder Stadium. So let me just bring it up. Wonder Stadium. Wonder Stadium. Uh, which was developed by Toze, published by Bandai, and released March 11th, 1999. So, yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, I guess we pick Namco Stars? Haitian Tigers? Sure. This game's alright. This game's alright. I can see the appeal. And he's out. Out, out, outo. And he's out. Out. I like this one. This is probably the, the best one I've played thus far.
Okay. I've played enough of this. I, I get what the game's like. It's fine. It's a fine little game. It's a fine little game. I actually like that one. But we'll move on to the Wonderspring color now. We've got a few on here. Deary me. And the next one we're going to be looking at is Digimon Tamer's Battle Spirit. Evolution. All right, let me just bring it up. Digimon Tamers. Digimon Tamers Battle Spirit, which is de developed by Dimps Corporation. Okay. Published by Bandai and released on October 6th, 2001. Uh, by the way, just a reminder, I'm, again, just just a reminder, there's my Wonderswang collection. So we've just gone through all the original Wonderswang games. So we've gone through them, and now we're moving on to the Wonderswan color, which is on the left. Wonderswan's on the right. Wonderswan color's on the left. Obviously, you can also see as well, you've got loose games as well here and there. So yeah, I did go over that at the beginning of the stream. So just to do a reminder. All right. I did play a bit of this one. The old Digimon Battle Spirit. It's basically... It, it, we, the game also got released on GBA, so... I don't know if the GBA version's better. Okay, so you have a few that you can play. You've got all of the Tamers. And you've got some of the characters from other ones. I'm gonna play as Ty. It's Agumon, obviously. Agumon versus Terriamon. Here we are. say about the Wonder Swan is I'm not a fan of how complicated its controls can be for literally no reason. Oh. You gotta evolve. Ow. Just get, I, well, yeah, I'm not gonna survive against this, am I? Bloody shoots me across the stage again. I would love, like, literally all. I would love if more than two buttons would work on the controller. Come up here. Come up here, boy. the battle over. And he wins because he has more pellets than me. Fantastic. Get off. There we go. Alright, on next game. Again, we're only spending a little bit of time with each game, so. Next one is Digital Monster Card Game version Wonderswang Color. Alright, put it in a digit monster card game uh, it's, it's, it's... digital monster card game if we can even find it there it is found it all right so, Digital Monsters Card Game, version Wonder Swan Color, developed by Tom Create, published by Bandai, released March 16th, 2002. 
looks like it's going to be having to play around, play this way around. I don't imagine this one's going to be, we're going to get very far in this one. That's just my two cents. There we go. I am Bob. Oh, we're going to like a tutorial thing? Okay. Fantastic. There is a... Okay, so what? We've got to place them on top of each other or something? I don't know. Was this like bloody Pokemon train car game? The artwork looks quite nice on there. Okay, blah blah blah. And this is what we got. So obviously we're going to play Terriamon. It's probably because it's the only one we can play is Terriamon. I don't know what you want me to do, game. Oh, I've already, you've already bored me. You've already bored me. There you go. You've already bored me. On to the next game. Doko Demo Hamster 3. Which is developed and published by Beck and released in December 14th, 2000. All right. Imagine it's going to be more of the same as we found what we found previously. So it's probably a simulation game. We'll be a virtual life Tamagotchi style game. My mistake. Oh yeah, we got to give him a little name. There you go. There's your name. Yes, that's your birthday. Your blood type's A. Sure. Yeah, wh whatever. And whatever that is, is Q. Because why not? And there he is. Now he's in color. Aren't we lucky that he's in now in color? Dancing around, doing his little jig. And we can ask him... Oh, don't... And I imagine that's it go around. We can spin his little wheel. Yeah, it literally is a Tamagotchi game where you just piss about. That's literally what this is. I'm just gonna move on. Uh, now we're on to the Final Fantasy games. Oh dear. I really, really don't... Whatever, fine. We'll just we'll breeze through these Final Fantasy games. Alright, so there's... Do, 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 that one, that one, and that one. 
Right. Well, it looks like all the Final Fantasy games I've got, all of them are developed by Squaresoft except for one, which is Final Fantasy IV, which is developed by Sting. And basically they came out like a year after each other, so... Final Fantasy, the Final Fantasy for Windows Fine Color came out in two, December 9th, 2000. 2 came out in May 2nd, 2001. And then 4 came out in March 29th, 2002. So there you go. Funny how 3 never got released on the Wonder Swan. Yeah, look, you can play, look, you can play Final Fantasy on this Wonder Swan. See, look, it's Final Fantasy. Exciting Final Fantasy, eh? Mech. Play through Final Fantasy, the first Final Fantasy game. It's good. I played through the um I played through it on the Game Boy Advance back in the day. The uh Echoes of Souls version, is that what it is? I played through one and two on the Game Boy Advance. Played through three on the DS, four on the DS. But yeah, I don't even know why I had these the Final Fantasy games on here, you know. Honestly don't know. But they look alright on the Wonder Swan. I played through five I played through three and four again on Steam and played through five and six for the first time on Steam. Played through seven on Steam. Oh, we're dying. Doesn't matter anyway. And there you go, that's Final Fantasy 2. And what happened there? I, oh, oh my god, it crashed. Wow, okay. Okay. Um, Retro Art crashed for some reason. That's always good. Give me a second. I don't know why it crashed. Stupid. Alright. No content. Final Fantasy 4. There we go. And it's Final Fantasy 4. 4 is okay. I thought it was good. My favorite will always be Final Fantasy 6. Final Fantasy 6 is god tier. So. Gameplay story, god tier. I don't know why seven is like so. I played through seven. Couldn't I? I, I had to stop with eight. I couldn't play through eight. Eight was just atrocious. I fucking hated eight with a passion. The battle system is what did it for me for eight. And then I haven't. I haven't played any. Oh, I've played obviously ten and ten two back on the PlayStation two back in the day. But nine I haven't played. Uh, played through twelve. Haven't played obviously eleven's MMO. But played through most of thirteen before dropping it because it was shit. I don't know why I played through most of it, though. Didn't bother with those other ones. Played through 15. So, that's, oh, maybe I'll play through 16. Probably unlikely, though. Kind of done with Final Fantasy, if I'm honest with you. Oh, and everyone's getting beaten. Fantastic. As, as he goes in and takes the crystal. Yep. I vaguely remember the plot of Final Fantasy IV. Definitely remember the music, though. Music's really good in IV. Oh, and there we go. 
All right, anyway. I just wanted to make sure that the, the game was featured on the stream. I didn't really want to play much of it, so... Next, we'll move on to Guilty Gear Petite. Again, it was mainly just because I'm trying to uh, include every single game I owned. But obviously, games like RPGs, like Final Fantasy, it's hard. Because it's like, you're not going to be able to play pretty much anything of them. So... So yeah, Gu Guilty Gear Petite is developed by Arc System Works, published by Sammy Studios, and released in January 25th, 2001. All right, for the Wonder Swing Color. At least with this one, we can go straight into, like, I guess, verses. What is it doing? Is it waiting for, like, another Wonder Swan? I think it was asking me, do you want to play two-player or not? Maybe? Maybe? I don't know. We'll restart the game. Do you just love it when it gets stuck? Alright, I want to do verses, but it's not going to let me, is it? Uh, time attack. We'll do time attack then, right? So who do we have? Soul Bad Guy, Kai Kisuke, Potemkin, Mei, Miller Rage, and... Fanny? Is her name Fanny? Her name is Fanny. That's great. Her name is literally Fanny. That must be the, must be the game's exclusive character, because I haven't seen her before. Alright. We'll do Soul Bad Guy, because of course we will. I wouldn't say this is particularly great for Guilty Gear, to be honest with you. This also got a sequel, by the way. On the Wonder Swan. Just keep smashing the same button. And then she's done, see? Mashing the same button is always the way to go. Oh, there's Fanny. Can't believe there's a character called Fanny. So what? She's like trapped in the corner. And she's done. So by a guy literally just hacking the game with his ab abilities. It's just too bad the music has to be like this because of the limitations of the system. There we go, this is just how you play the game. You just... And there you go. Looks and sounds better than the GBA one. Oh, okay. Well, fair enough. I've never played the GBA one. But don't get me wrong, it seems like an okay little fighting game on the, on the system. Kai Kiske's beating the shit out of me. There you go. How about that? Still didn't fight hard enough, though, did you, boy? You didn't... Did you, boy? Congratulations, you cleared. So did, did I complete... I completed the time attack mode. When I, that, that's just how good I am. All right. Let's move on to the next game. All right, so the next game is Gunpei EX. Gunpei. All right, Gunpei EX. 
There's a few Gunpei games. Even a Gunpei DS actually got released in the West. Look at that. So this one's developed by Koto and published by Bandai and released December 9th, 2000. All right. So switch that around. All right. I don't even remember what this kind of game's like. Uh, it's endless. What even is this? I don't think I played this once. Supposed to do that. What am I supposed to do here? Ah, oh, like that. You connect them from one side to the other. Right. Okay, I see how this works. That's cool. It's a, that's quite an interesting game, really. Game concept, at least. Oh no, game over. What a shame. Alright, next game. <laughs> Interesting game, not my kind of thing though. Next we'll move on to Rhyme Rider Karaoke Karokan? Karokan. Rhyme Rider. Alright. Rhyme Come up with it, is it? I hate this. I hate it. Let's just get into Wonder Swine games. Like, oh yeah, just so you know, you just no, no. It's not gonna come up for you. You try searching it, it's just nothing. Just do writer. You search writer then. There we go. Rhyme Rider Karokan, developed by Nana On Sha, which you can see on there, published by Bandai, and released in December 9th, 2000. Right. Don't know what the hell this game's going to be like. <laughs> okay. Frog girl, right? The frog costume girl. Music's a little bit grating. I have no clue what the hell this is. I'm curious. Wait, what, what, what is happening? What is this? What? I think the story's happening. That's what's happening. Well, now I'm here. I'm mashing buttons on the controller and it's ignoring me. She just jumps. Very good game. Love it. Love it when I'm pressing every button on the controller and just nothing's happening besides her jumping. Beautiful game design. All right, we'll move on to the next game. This game looks like it'd be interesting just on the aesthetic alone, but... No, let's not be able to play the game. This is the problem, I think, with all, with maybe the Wonder Swan in general. Is just a lot of these games have complicated controls for no reason, no reason whatsoever, and it's just like, why, why, why are you like this? Whatever, right? Next, we'll move on to SD Gundam Euden. Euden. All right, SD. So find it again. SD Gun. Gundam 
E U E U E U Den. What what E U Den is it? That is the that is the question. E U Den Musa Musashi Detsu. It's the other one, right? Right. Oh fuck off! It's never easy, is it? It's never easy. No, it's not easy. There we go. So this one is SD Gundam Iuden Musha Densetsu, developed by Beck, published by Bandai, and released March 15, 2001. There is also a parent game to this as well, I think. But I only had I only had the one. Oh, ah yes. Fantastic. There we go. Can't believe how many Gundam games I've got. I ended up having on the Wonder Swan. Considering I, I didn't even have anything to do with Gundam back when I had the Wonder Swan. Way before I even watched Mobile Suit Gundam, the movies. So, what is this? It's like Edo period. What is this? Oh, they're off. Harrowbots here. Fantastic. Yep. Blah, 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 blah. Now oh, we're going back in. Uh, Shogun, give us our bloody Gundams so we can go fight. And we're off. Here we are. We're in our Gundams now. Fantastic. And we're just massive houses. Yes. In our Gundams as we go along. What's going on here? Are you fighting? Oh, you are fighting. Alright, let's have a look what the battle system's like here. Oh god, okay. And explode. Okay then, get wrecked. Oh, we've got another battle here. Oh, he dodged it. And you're dead. So, okay, I see. So, it, the battle system's like that. Okay. I've, I've seen enough, then. <laughs> That's what I want to see. All right, next on to Senkaiden Ni. TV animation Senkaiden Hoshi, Hoshin Engi Yuri. Oh, my God. Damn it. What kind of a name is the game there? Massively long as... Senkaiden. Senkaiden Ni, which is a sequel to the game, game called Senkaiden on the original Wonder Swan. It's developed by Graphic Research, published by Bandai, released on December 21st, 2000. Oh, look, it's a role playing game. Yay. So we ain't going to be playing much of this one then. Blah, blah, blah. Ah, oh, yes, the bird comes to tell the man that there's a, a, some kind of evil witch doll thing. Yes. Oh, there's our main... was that, main character? I had a talking sword! Oh, fantastic! Is this based off an anime? I'm guessing this game's based off an anime. Oh, now we're walking. Let's go. Fantastic. Where's the enemies? I want to fight the enemies. Let's go. Oh, I want to go out of town and fight enemies. I'm going to find enemies to fight. What's this? It's a castle? Yeah. Can't go that way either. Oh, whatever. Right, next game. I just don't care enough. All right. Next game is Uchu Senkan Yamamoto. If I type in Yamato, probably come up with it right. Space Battleships Yamato, it's the same series. I think, yep, there it is. Uchu Senkan Yamato, developed by Tom Create, published by Bandai Visual, 
released February 8th, 2001. Okay. Not really had much familiarity with this series, mainly because it's just I didn't end up watching any of it. I guess. Stage one. All right. Oh my god! It's more of this. Oh my god! It's another game that plays like this. Did Tom Create do all of these? At least I can watch it instead of having to participate in it. Giving it a command. Yeah, it's it's more of the same. It's exactly like that Gundam game. It is literally identical to that Gundam game. Let's fire some missiles at him. It's exactly the same type of game. I'm not even going to waste my time with it. So we'll move on to the final Wonder Swan color game before we move on to Swan Crystal. Wonder Classic. Wonder Classic. Which is developed by Yoshidayama Workshop, published by Bandai, released January 18th, 2001. Looks like one we're going to be doing on our side here. It's a golf game, basically. I didn't mind a bit of this game. So straight into it, just like that. Like I said, it's just a nice little golf game. Boom. On the green. Come on! No, just didn't get it hard enough. There we go, we got it in. Alright. It's just a nice, chill golf game. I remember playing some of this. I, I remember playing some, a few Wonder Swan golf games. Just obviously, I guess I played I played them until I knew what I was doing to some regard. Fantastic, missed it. Oh. There we 
I got in. Bogey, but never mind. Yeah, Wonder Classic's not too bad of a game. It's, it's, it's just a nice, chill golf game, really. Okay, I think we'll move now on to the final thing. That is the Wonder Swan Crystal Games, which is five of them. And we'll start with, obviously, the I guess the One Piece ones. We'll start with One Piece Grand Battle Swan Coliseum. Uh, which is developed by Dimps Corporation, published by Bandai, and released on the July 12, 2002. So, yeah. If you ask me, like, what's the difference between the Swan Crystal and the, and the Wonder Swan Color, I think it's just, like, maybe the screen resolution's a bit better. Maybe the, the hardware's a little bit better. But the, I don't think there is that much difference, to be honest with you. I do like the intro on this, though. Love a bit of We Are. We are the crews. We are. All right. I think it's option two. Yes, option two. So you have Luffy, Zoro, Nami, Usopp, Sanji, Chopper. You, you, there is other characters you you can unlock. So we'll fight Usopp. Eh, random. Let's do a random stage. But this is like the grand battle game that everyone forgets even exists. It's a nice little game. It's it's probably my favorite one swan color game, to be honest. So Usopp can confuse you. Stay down, boy. Stay down. Yeah, it's just a it's just a fun little 2D fighter, to be honest. Oh. We'll do one more battle. And I'll play Zoro. And we'll go up against Sanji, right? then. The sound just kicking my ass. Yeah, 
Yeah, I'm not a big fan of Zoro's moves. beat him in time there we go but yeah like i said probably the game i played the most on the wonder swan which by the way is like maybe i played maybe half an hour of this and i say i played a few it's like i cycled between and i can't remember i say maybe the most but maybe side pocket i did play a lot of side pocket once you know what you're doing with side pocket it's fine but it's been years since i played it so Right, we'll move on to the next One Piece game, because there's three of them. One Piece Niji no Shima Densetsu. So, One Piece, One Piece Niji. Which is a role-playing game, fantastic. Developed by Tomcat System. Oh, fantastic. You know it's going to be good now, don't you? Published by Bandai, released September 13th, 2001. God, you know it's going to be good with its fucking Tomcat System. God. Alright. Uh, what do I want my name to be? I want it to be Star Star Star. I am I'm four star quality. Oh the mysterious straw hat pirates. I can't remember. I I'm, I have a feeling I, I I can't remember if it exactly, but either if I remember correctly, I think maybe an OVA was made off of the plot of this, or if am I thinking of a different One Piece game? I don't know. Oh no, who's this dude? What are you doing, Rent? I'm doing this. That's what I'm doing. I just want to go ahead and play. Let me play. I want to fight. Ah, yes. Can't go anywhere but the town. Beautiful. One of those where I'm just going to end up talking to people, isn't it? Yep, it looks like that. One of those games where we just talk to people. So we're probably not going to see what the battle system is like. No, we're probably not because I'm already want to move on to the next game. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Battle system? Well, oh, they look menacing. Are they going to fight me? Sounds like it, with the music. Come on, fight me. Oh my god, so much text. Fighting? Fighting? Oh, and here comes... Here comes Luffy. And Zoro, okay. Oh, and Nami. Right. Oh, they're oh god, they all gotta appear one at a time. Ugh. Interesting. Come on, alright, at least we can see like the battle system, right? Let's go. Oh no, they run away. Oh, fuck off then. Yeah, if you're gonna run away and not actually fight, I don't, I don't care. Alright, next game. One Piece Treasure Wars 2. Buggy Land E. Yos Yokoso. Alright. One Piece Buggy Land. There we go. Developed by Graphic Research. Okay, we've they've popped they've popped up before. Funny enough, there is actually a Mahjong Games on 
the Wonder Swan. That'd be interesting to look at at some point, if I if I ever do. Published by Bandai, released by released uh, December twentieth, two thousand and two. Okay. Final One Piece game for this stream. It says it's a board game, so normally that's really my jam. Normally for board games. Can we do party mode? Party mode, let's go. Three players. A few different characters. Oh, Robin. We can play as Robin. We'll play as Robin. Wait, wait, wait. We have a short game. Short. Let's go. Oh, Panda Man. What's Panda Man doing? Turns out Panda Man's the king of One Piece. That'd be a twist. What a twist. Alright, roll the dice. Excellent. Alright, dice change, apparently. Uh, my HP went up. Okay. And my turn is over. Now it's One Piece's... Uh, One Piece? Usopp's turn. No, oh, and his TP went up. But yeah, it's just a... Yeah. Oh, Usopp's attacking me? Is that what he's doing? He is. That's nice of Usopp. Thanks, Usopp. So kind of you. But yeah, it's it's a board game, right? I'm not going to play any more of this. At this point, if I'm honest with you, I'm tired. I just want to get through the rest of these games. We've got two more to look at. Next one is Inuyasha Kagome no Sengoku. I'm going to be honest with you, I thought this stream would be more fun than it actually is. It's it it's it's definitely been it's definitely been a bit more of a struggle to be honest with you than I would like it to be. Wait, when did I say this game was? Lord, it's like, oh, they might have to have such similar names. It's the Kagome one. All right, it's the Kagome one. All right. So, yeah, so this is Inuyasha Kago, Kagome no Sengoku Nikki. The reason why I say that is because there's also a, a Kagome no Yume Nikki. Of course there is. And this is another role-playing game. Developed and published by Bandai, released in November 2nd, 2001. Lucky, lucky me. So lucky. All right. No familiarity with the new Asher, by the way. tree has got him. Oh, what is this? Some kind of serpentine monster. That's a bloody centipede. Demon centipede. Oi, Inuyasha, get out of here. Fight. Whatever your bloody name is. And he does, and chops it up into tiny pieces. Very nice. Mm. Oh, he seemed angry, but now he just collect collapses. Fantastic. And he's run off. Oh, no. He's come back. Oh. Oh, 
Oh, do I just do different things then? Okay, what is it? Like a... What is it, like a romance? What is it, like a romance thing? Alright. I don't know what's happening. I'm moving on to the final game. I'm just... Bleep. Just bleep. Naruto Kanoa Nimpacho. The only Nar the, the very first Naruto game to ever come out. Would you believe it? The very first Naruto game. I think one of the last Wonderswan games, maybe. Maybe. I don't know. I can't remember when the Wonderswan Wonder stopped. Uh, it's developed by Beck, published by Bandai, and released March 27, 2003. So, the very final game we're going to be looking at tonight on this stream. Let's get past the nine tails. It's interesting, because I have no clue what this game actually covers from the Naruto story. I have a feeling it covers, like, maybe the whole entire thing with Mizuki? I don't know. Because, I, I, like, when this game came out, the, map, the, the actual Naruto content that was available, they hadn't even, like, gone to the Land of Waves arc yet, I don't think. Well, the Land of Waves arc, arc had just barely started. But in case you're wondering, I am familiar with, like, a little bit of the battle system. I remember watching a video of it on Kong Sawa's channel. It's just like... It looks a little bit weird. But at the same time, atypical of what you would expect in an, in an RPG, really. So... But the sprite works nice. That's about it, really. Naruto comes out and he's like, eh? I don't know how I can do this. Yeah, that got Uruka, didn't it? Now we can go. found us. Oh, we're fighting him. Good. So here we go. So we can actually see a bit of the battle system. And yeah, you kind of like to clash. Like that. And I think he beat me. Yep, he beat me. Managed to get Uruka on that occasion. We'll throw the Demon Wind Shuriken again. Okay, is angry with me. And we're fighting again. But this is basically what the battle system's like. And like I said, I think pretty much this entire game just has the academy. This is basically the entire battle system. Exciting as that is. Did 
just keep fighting back and forth. And that's battle over. Alright. Did you understand the battle system? I didn't. But of course, it's all in Japanese. But. Alright. Alright. Okay. Bit of bit of reflection now. I'll put on do 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 do. Put on, put on, put on. Just something in the background. There we go. So this is a little bit of self-reflection. Um, I thought this stream was going to go a little bit better than it actually did, to be honest with you. Um, more for my enjoyment than anything else. Um, it was okay, to be honest with you. The games. But, God. I obviously had a, a lot less... Uh, memories of me playing the Wonderswan than I thought. I've had the Wonderswan for a lot of years. You know, I'll bring up the old uh, thing again. And like I said, that was my collection. You know, I don't know why I collected Wonderswan. I have no clue. Um, I'm just glad I got rid of the games eventually. So, there's much better things you could be collecting than the Wonderswan. That's for damn well sure. I know from experience. So, yeah. Either way, I'm going to call it there, I think, for this stream. I hope you've had some enjoyment out of it. I, it's been a mixed bag for me, to be honest with you. I'll, be, I'll put my hands in the air. So, but either way, I'm going to be calling it there. I hope you've enjoyed. I'm Bio, and I'll see you in whatever it be, the next video, next stream, whatever. Goodbye. <laughs>